I remember this girl ends up finishing her speech and she ended up taking off her shirt in front of the entire school and everyone saw her cherries. Bro, this girl just flashed the entire school. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school and this was my grade 10 year. Now in grade 10, one thing I had a lot of was sneaky links. If you guys don't know what sneaky links are, basically it would be women that I would meet up with randomly throughout the week to go do the devil's tango. And one thing I will say is that I had like more than like seven of them. So it was really hard to keep track of things, but obviously there was one sneaky link back when I was in high school that was very iconic to me because this girl did the most iconic thing ever. But before we get into that, I remember one day in my grade 10 year, I was basically walking down the school hallway and I ended up seeing my sneaky link. And when I saw her, I remember she ran up to me and she looked at me and said, Hey Baba, I was just wondering, um, after school today, are you free? Uh, yeah, I'm free. Why? Okay. Well, I was thinking, do you want to like, maybe like meet up and like, I don't know, go back to your place. At this moment, I knew what she was asking. She obviously wanted to come over and do the devil's tango. So I ended up replying, uh, yeah, sure. After school, just meet up with me at the front. And I ended up walking away. Now, when I walked away, I remember I was pretty excited because obviously like, you know, I had someone scheduled in and I say that really oddly as if I'm a doctor, but at the same time, the only thing I was good at being a doctor for was doing the devil's tango. But going on with the story, I remember later on that day when after school actually came around, I ended up going to the front of the school and I waited there for, I want to say like 20 minutes. And it got to the point where I waited there for over 40 minutes and she still didn't show up. I was obviously really upset and I just basically ended up, you know, texting her saying, yo, like, are we not meeting up? Like what's going on? And I ended up walking home by myself. I want to say like an hour went by and basically she ended up texting me out of nowhere saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I was so busy with stuff and I had a leadership meeting and honestly, like something came up and I just got really upset. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to let off some steam and come over? You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. And then one thing led to another. She actually ended up coming over to my place. Now, when she came over, I thought she was just going to complain about like, you know, how some kids were just being really dumb in leadership class or some disagreement happened during class. But clearly she had other things in mind because I remember when she came over after me and her, we did the devil's tango. I remember I ended up picking up my clothes from the ground and I started putting my shirt on. But halfway through putting on my t-shirt, I remember she looks at me and says, Baba, do you think like women should be able to like walk around shirtless? Wait, what? Well, like, you know, like not have to wear anything and just walk around. I ended up looking at her as if she was crazy. And I ended up saying, oh, uh, well, I mean, wouldn't that not be appropriate for your cherries? Like, you know, what do you mean? It's not appropriate. Women and men are literally the same thing. At this point, I didn't really know what to say because obviously I didn't want to debate with her on this, but at the same time, like it kind of felt weird for her to ask me this question. So I ended up looking at her and said, well, if I'm being honest, like personally, I don't know if it's appropriate for women to do that. I feel like personally it's not, but I mean, it's all up to you at the end of the day. I don't really know. I don't think anyone's going to complain. And I think me saying that was the biggest mistake ever because afterwards she ended up smiling and nodding her head towards me saying, oh, I know what I have to do. And at this point, I knew it was all downhill from there because the next day when I got to school, I remember there were so many girls outside of the school not wearing t-shirts and were yelling basically free the cherries. And it was really embarrassing. And I remember a lot of guys actually ended up cheering with them just because they ended up getting to see a free pair of cherries. Now I'm not one to argue with politics and basically, you know, get in the way of people that want to riot about different things. But this was a little extreme, especially for high school. I remember halfway through the school day on the announcements, we ended up getting an announcement saying to all the students outside wearing not appropriate attire or not wearing anything at all, please put on some clothing and enter the school. If you are not, you will be kicked out of the school for the day. Thank you. And I remember so many girls in the school and I literally heard this from the hallway started yelling and screaming even more. Now it got to the point where I'm not going to lie. A lot of girls actually ended up leaving school that day, especially a lot of the leadership students that were women. And it was pretty obvious to me that the girl that I was, you know, doing the devil's tango with definitely had something to do with it. Now I want to say a couple weeks went by and obviously things started to die down because well, students or especially girl students started to realize that they weren't able to attend school if they kept going on this way. So a lot of girls ended up basically going back to normal and putting on their clothing and basically entering school school again. But as for my sneaky link, well, she had other things in mind because what she did next, I got to say was extremely illegal. I remember after two weeks, we ended up getting an announcement where basically it was for a spirit assembly that was happening the next day on a Friday. And basically, 
basically everyone in the school loves spirit assemblies it's basically where everyone shows their school spirit and school pride and basically get together and show how much we love our school but one thing that a lot of people did not know about the spirit assembly was that it was hosted by leadership students so obviously i think you guys know where i was going with this but basically i remember the next day came around and the spirit assembly started and a lot of students you know started all cheering we had mascots and it was really exciting we had like little fun games and stuff and all the teachers were just sitting on the side of the gymnasium just kind of watching us students do our thing but then out of nowhere i remember my sneaky link that was a leadership student ended up walking in front of the school and she walked up to the front of the mic and said hello parents student and teachers today we are all going to stand up and rise to show how powerful students are in this school and for all the women in front of me right now i want you guys to know we are able to be free at this point everyone was looking around wondering what does she mean by women being free and at this moment i remember out of nowhere and i mean it like it was insane because this girl she ends up ripping off her shirt and throwing it across towards the teachers and she starts yelling shaking her cherry saying free the cherries and i am not joking everyone in the school stood up and started cheering because this girl just flashed the entire school honestly all of us were mind blown and i remember a lot of guys started to get bricked and a lot of people started just you know staring and even got to a point where our principal ended up grabbing his coat and putting it on top of the girl that was flashing the entire school obviously it got to the point where everyone started freaking out and i am not joking like it became havoc because once one girl started to do it other leadership students started to do it and it got really messy to the point where the cops were actually involved cops ended up pulling up in front of the school and actually funny enough the leadership student that actually ended up taking off her shirt in front of the whole school my sneaky link at the time she full-on got arrested and went to a prison yeah she went to prison bro like what but obviously during the entire thing going on though i remember it was so funny how the teachers were all trying to like grab the students that were taking off their clothing and trying to make them put it back on and i gotta say this for high school it was majorly embarrassing as for me well i was just sitting there kind of amazed and freaked out and honestly the amount of kids that got footage that day of you know her doing that was insane because i remember it was the talk of the school for the rest of the year like everyone would not stop talking about that event and what happened and I, I got to the point where i'm not gonna lie the girl actually ended up getting expelled but it was definitely a day to remember for all high school students that were in my school that year but i want you guys to be completely honest with me what would you guys do in that moment would you guys also take your shirts off or would you guys put it back on and just act normal i don't know comment down below but like i always say just fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys